If you're in 3D printing or mold making, you've probably seen a 3D printed injection mold made from metal. You may have even seen a 3D printed polymer mold. This is something in between. This is a 3D printed ceramic mold. I'm Stephanie Hendrickson with Additive Manufacturing Media here at PT Expo 2025 in the Nota 3D booth. Nota 3D is a distributor of additive manufacturing equipment, including 3D printers from Axtra 3D. These parts were printed on those machines uh, using a material called UltraCure 3D uh, 3280 from BASF. This material is a 65% ceramic filled resin. It's 3D printed with DLP resin style 3D printers, but unlike other 3D printed ceramics you may have seen, it does not require a sintering step post printing. It is UV cured instead. One of these 3D printed ceramic tools could be used for up to a thousand shots in an injection molding application, depending on the geometry and the specific material being used. This material can be printed on a number of different resin style 3D printers, but the Axtra 3D platform is particularly well suited because of its true layer technology. There are three components to the true layer technology. The first is a dual gantry that holds the build plate on two different sides to provide even pressure all the way across. The second component is a flexible membrane supported by a solid piece of glass to provide a really rigid surface for each layer to cure on that allows for a really smooth surface finish and very flat layers. And the final true layer component is that that glass window actually slides out of the way in between each layer to break the suction in between the membrane and the printed part, preventing shear and other problems that can happen in between layers. All of this adds up to 3D printed ceramics that are very repeatable, very accurate, um, and capable of very fine features. True Layer also makes it possible to print pretty heavy, really chunky parts, uh, which is exactly what you need for injection molding. So here's one example of how this is being used. This is a tool for this plastic cap. Um, the tool was 3D printed in just 54 minutes and represents about $80 worth of material. There was a couple hours of UV curing needed after printing, but um, less than a day to get to a tool ready to go into the press. Uh, this tool was used to produce between 300 and 500 runs of these caps in polypropylene and polycarbonate. So 300 parts, 500 parts, maybe as many as 1,000 parts off of one of these ceramic molds. It's not a mass production situation, but it is enough quantity for a prototyping run, a bridge production situation. And these molds will wear out over time, especially depending on the geometry and maybe the abrasion of the material that's being injection molded. But the great thing about this solution is that they are affordable tools, they are easy and fast to 3D print, and so if you needed a second tool for the next run of production, it wouldn't be that expensive or that time consuming to make another mold. So for more about 3D printing, for mold tooling, and all kinds of other applications, visit additivemanufacturing.media. And if you're interested in mold making in particular, we recommend our sister publication, moldmakingtechnology.com. Thanks for watching.